I'm using the rice loaf that we talked about in the bread lecture to make French toast today. Whisk one egg and one tablespoon of milk together. Gave me a total of 78 milligrams of sodium. And our rice loaf doesn't have any. It's a little dry. So I put it, put the rice loaf pieces in the egg mixture and let it soak up a little bit. It soaked up four pieces. You can put a little vanilla, you can put some cinnamon in there, and then I'm going to fry it. I don't like a little butter flavor. I'm just going to use a little bit of Crisco butter spray. Then I'm going to fry these. Maple syrup, the pure maple syrup, many times has way less sodium than the imitation. Kirkland maple syrup, 100% pure. This is Costco. Quarter cup has no sodium. Some of them, even the pure ones, have 10 or 20. I have to read the labels. I'm going to fry the, oh, there I go. Okay. A little spray. Then I'm going to put our French toast in. Well, I'm going to apply three, then I'll do one more. So we're going to get four pieces of French toast, or 78 milligrams of sodium. I'll let you look at it when we get it done. The first three are cooked. The last one's cooking. My bread is three and a half inches by four inches, and it's soft. When you soak it in the egg and fry it, it's soft. Each piece, right at 20 milligrams of sodium, even with the syrup. That's just not bad, folks. And it's pretty tasty. And I'm going to take these three in to my husband when that one gets done. Mm -hmm. It's mine.